We finished uh, the season finale airs May 15th. Um, it was really great to get back to work after the uh, writer's strike, but it felt like such a short season because we actually were picked up for 33 episodes and ended up doing 13, I think. Um, but the season finale is going to be great. Lots of wonderful surprises for everybody uh, to, uh, to, to tune in for. What did you do during the writer's strike? I actually made a movie um, with Zac Efron called Seventeen Again. Um, and well, tell me about it. Uh, it's it's a movie kind of like a a big reversed big story where um, Zac Efron's character is uh, gets to go back and be 17 again and and ultimately uh, you know kind of heal his life and and uh, I play the principal of the school and uh, his best friend kind of falls for me um, who's wow. still a grown up his best friend and so yeah so it was it was it was quite fun and we had a great time and um, I think it's going to be a really really funny movie. Um, and I also, uh, I'm a singer, and so I did, a, I did a singing act in January, and that led to me ultimately being able to, to uh, I was cast in Les Miserables, which is going to be at the Hollywood Bowl here in Los Angeles in August. So I'm playing Fontaine, which is a complete dream come true. Um, wow. Yeah, and I, I also directed a movie and uh, just got that finished and, and now have a sales rep, and we're trying to find distribution for that. So I was pretty busy during the writer's strike, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Now, now, out of out, out of the three, uh, working in television, working in, in in film, and then singing, I mean, is there a one that you like more, or one that you find? Um, I mean, it's harder, but it's more enjoyable. You know, I really love I love everything. I love every opportunity to be creative, and I and I think that I just I'm looking for that all the time. I'm looking for ways to to be more and more creative and work with more and more creative people and. Um, so that's really what draws me to, to things and draws me to try new things, and I love those challenges. What, in your mind, what's been the secret of the office? Um, I think a lot of things. I think I think the fact that it uh, that it came at this time. I think that it's a very timely show. I don't think it would have succeeded in the '80s. I don't think anyone would have cared. I think that it's um, it's got an incredibly genius group of writers, um, you know, headed by our exec producer Greg Daniels, who I think has probably just just amazing integrity, creative integrity for the show. And I think it's beautifully cast. I think everybody is just so wonderfully suited to their part. And uh, and it's a wonderful collaboration between writer, writers and actors. You know, the actors uh, sort of inspire uh, things in the writers, and the writers do the same for us. So uh, there's a lot of magic, a magic on that set. Um, what's it like working with Steve Carell? Oh, he's a jerk. No, he's <laughs> He's so you know, great. I think John Stewart said that too. Yeah, who said that? I think John Stewart said that. Too. Yeah, exactly. Easy, easy to say because he's really such a nice guy. He's a real family guy, and he's he's real he's real grounded and, and lovely, and he's not real on all the time. You know, he's he's not always constantly cracking jokes, uh, which would be quite e exhausting, as you can imagine, on, on a set. But he's not like that. He's just he's just a real really good guy. Did um. Did you see the series when it was in, when it was originally in England? I did see it, but I didn't see it until after I had already done the pilot for The Office. Um, and they asked me if I had seen it, if if I had not seen it, which I had not, not to see it. They kind of said, you know, just why don't you just wait and and see it later? Why is that? Well, because I think Greg Daniels really knew that apart from the pilot, which was the, the, the exact pilot of the pilot from the BBC show, we were really trying to create our own show. And I think Greg really knew that and had a real vision for that. So, um, yeah, so I think he wanted to, to, to sort of create our own characters based on the Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant, you know, um, template. And um, do you think they both hold up? Uh, uh I mean, separately. If you if you didn't compare the two, mm -hmm. which I know people want to do, but I think to me that that's an apples and oranges thing. Yeah. They both hold up very well, right? Yeah. I mean, I think what you said is exactly true. They're apples and oranges. They're really different shows. I mean, the BBC show is a fabulous show, and no one could take anything away from that show. Um, and it's also very specifically English, you know. And whereas our show is is really its own show, and it's also a fabulous show, and also very specifically American. And the humor is really very different. And I think. Um, uh, specific, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you like how um, how your character has been fleshed out these past couple of seasons? I love I love Jan. I think she's amazing, and she's really she's really just such a unique character for television. She's got so much dimension. 
um, she has so many wonderful flaws and for an actor there's nothing better than playing flaws than having flaws to play and uh, you know and just just that you get to kind of see her unravel in front of the audience's eyes is is really a gift for an actor and um, and I think also for the the audience because they have a lot of empathy for her they see that she's trying to do the best that she can even though she's stumbling and falling and um, you know and making and making a mess of things she's she's certainly has uh, you get to see her struggle really inside and out. So I love, I, ca I can't say enough about how much I love Jan. <laughs> All right, now I have to ask, during the episode back from vacation, was that really you in the photo? Oh, yes, that really was me, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And I'll tell you too that I the day before we took that picture, they said to me, "Oh, by the way, tomorrow, you know, you're gonna we're gonna take this picture of you in a bikini, and um, so you know you have to look like you've been in the Bahamas, and you know, so we've booked you, we've booked like a fake tan for you." I'm like, "Guys, thank you very much. Like, can you give me like five seconds to prepare for this?" So I literally had to like run off and get a huge fake tan and look like I was, you know, in the Bahamas. So it was pretty funny. But yeah, that's me. Did you like it? Oh yeah. Oh good. I very much. I, I, uh, oh good, good. Flustered. That's always a good sign. I just, I just, I, I, just, I feel so. I, I can't, I can't just describe how funny that that episode was to me. It I is was very funny. So hard. I know, and that um, huge poster is absolutely ludicrous, and you should see it in real life. It's really ludicrous. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I'm sure once the, once the series, you know, ten years from now or so is is off the air. I'm sure someone on eBay will probably make like a yeah. million dollar bid for it. Yeah, I think I think they're actually going to roll that up and give it to me. <laughs> so, oh, and I'll store it at a bin somewhere under the house. Now, have you heard anything about the uh, spinoff that's coming next year? I just know that there's going to be one, but nobody really knows anything more than that. There's it's all very secret. Ooh, okay. Yes. We'll have to wait for. Uh, we'll have to wait for. January 2009. I guess so. I guess so. Um, now, before we go, I ask this of everybody, and that is, is there one project out there that you've done um, that didn't, in your mind, didn't get the recognition it deserved or didn't get uh, the publicity that, that you wanted it to get? Yes, I did a, um, I did a pilot called Shangri-La Plaza that, was, uh, that came out the same year as Cop Rock, and, um, and Cop Rock killed us. But it was a musical pilot, and uh, it had fabulous, fabulous musicians in it. It was really funny and really over the top and really just perfectly, perfectly cast. And I really thought that show would have, you know, in a different time, it, they just sort of buried it under all the other pilots. No publicity, nothing. But it is really, people who've seen it have come up to me and said, like, I loved that pilot. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It has been a huge pleasure talking oh, to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's been really lovely talking to you. Have a great can't day. Wait, can't wait to see you more in the office and have yourself a great season next year. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.